Khatija, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the podcast. It I have to say it's a honor to have you because you're someone who's super inspirational. I have known that you have been super super inspirational to a lot of people and um so many people follow you already not from an Instagram perspective but the ideologies and the message that you are um putting it out and the energy that you are radiating so i i feel that you are someone super special and i feel extremely blessed to have you on the podcast and uh, so i wanted to say a big thank you for coming on the podcast it's an absolute pleasure thank you so much uh thank you i mean you're doing a great job and uh such a selfless person you are so thank you so much and i also feel really positive you know seeing the messages you share and uh <laughs> things like that it takes a lot to be positive despite what is happening in you know especially in this situation so that's something i feel i should learn from you because i get down as well you know sometimes so yeah you're amazing too and thank you once again no i i have to be honest here so um i i'm usually a positive person but i i do have my down times as well and uh, one of the things that keeps me positive is sir's music it's 24 by 7 it just runs and then i wear my headphones and i work every day and i feel lot more focused when the music is running and uh, i don't know what i would be doing without without sir's music to be honest and i i i would have felt lost and um, even more so during in the current times that we are in i don't even want to say interesting times so if if it wasn't for his music i don't know how i would have survived because i resort to music as a as 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 a what's the word that i'm looking for uh, the tool to get healed with everything that's going on around me and still trying to stay focused and things like that so um thanks to you thanks to sir thanks to the entire family for giving us this magical wand where we can we can live in in peace with the music that you guys are giving us so thank you so much for that and i know there's so much that goes on before even the smallest little sound that comes out of the studio and i know there's so much hard work that happens and we as listeners outside on the other side of the world feel very blessed and uh, uh it's it, it's rather an easy life for us because we don't have to create or go through the hard work that sir and yourself and the entire team goes through but we are like on the other side being blessed to be able to receive it and get healed um so music plays a major major role uh, not just now but at 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 all stages of my life it has played especially sir's music i could not deny at all i don't listen to anyone else's music to be honest because i wouldn't even know who those guys are so that's how much i'm devoted to sir's music and um one of the things i have to uh, ask you is uh, i resort to music to stay positive in this current times how are you being positive what are you doing um, to stay positive for me it is um i think honestly i share my uh, problems with someone like i have a support system so yeah. that helps me you know hearing that they also went through the same thing yeah. uh, helps me otherwise it fe- sometimes it's like oh am i the only one feeling this way mm. so this is one thing and uh, same thing music only but uh, not in listening but uh, in practicing so mm. sometimes there is no mood you know to do anything and then i'm like okay i have to mm. practice for today and then once i do i don't know what happens but uh, i feel really good after that i don't know how it is okay. so um you know so that is 
something so for both of us it is music but for you it is listening and for me it is practicing yeah and you know talking and sharing with someone mm-hmm. um so yeah i mean and also yeah you're most welcome and uh, i'm glad that you know my dad's music is helping and healing it heals a lot of people and i'm happy that means the music is working so <laughs> yeah for sure and i i'm very very interested to uh, know a bit more about what you just mentioned you said you talk to people right and then i know how much it's important to talk to others because a lot of people don't open up i to be honest with you i myself i will take a lot of time to open up to anyone but that's me and i know there's going to there are many out there who will probably not open up at all so can you talk a bit more about how important it is to actually open up and talk about anything to anyone so basically when you don't open up what happens is um you kind of that fear and anxiety keeps increasing mm-hmm. and uh that's what happened to me and um i was very afraid and stuff and then i realized if i don't ask for help people are not going to know that i'm going through something Correct. and people are not going to understand because i might you know so i whatever abc things they are i spoke to people and i realized it's absolutely normal and even though if i'm still going through that mm. it feels like okay you know we are all on the same boat otherwise what happens is is uh when it, you keep bottling up and not sharing with someone if you have some other way to let it out it's fine otherwise it's not good for you mm. uh there are a lot of emotional side effects which takes place and the thing is if you're living with people it affects them also your behavior towards them mm. so that's why i in my opinion i feel like it's important that we share something with someone because we should we should never feel alone that we are the only one going through that so for me this is the method which helps like i've mentioned this before also that sharing with someone talking it out to someone and saying it so most important thing is the person whom we are sharing uh, our problems or whatever it is mm-hmm. should be a very non judgmental person Correct. we don't want someone to be telling us saying uh oh this is how you think is it oh i didn't know you think like this or or someone starting to look at us in a certain way the, they see us next time so with such people we should never share i never share things with such people mm. when i'm 100% sure that the person is only listening and and we don't want to be lectured saying why are you thinking this way or be this way this will help we don't want you just want someone to listen to you that's all sometimes just listening helps you know rather than lecturing and so i think this is very important according to me this is what i do but there is no compulsion um, probably whatever someone is going through might be too deep that they are not able to share no judgments no compulsions but um, i'm just telling you what helped me i just want to help each one of you listening to this you know i hope it helps you also for sure for sure so the thing is i mean um especially even more in the current times that we are in with so many things that's happening around us here in australia itself there's job losses like anything because the economy has gone down and that it has hit all the sectors and i myself have have been through a salary cut i've had 25% pay cut since the month of march um and of course but i'm still dealing with it in terms of how i'm going to like in terms of planning my finance etc etc and cutting down on some of my expenses to to be able to cope up with that you know um but i feel that i'm sort of in uh, a better place than lot more others who actually have lost their jobs and people who have had massive houses and cars and all of a sudden they are relying on the government um you know uh the rebates and stuff because they both husband and wife have lost their jobs and what's also what, one of the things that's also triggered as part of the whole thing is domestic violence 
um this is this is something really how should i put it it's um it's 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 tough i uh, i really empathize people who are going through that because especially even more now is what i mean i i keep getting to read so many things that's happening in australia itself here i'm pretty sure it will be a lot more in india or anywhere else for that matter um i don't know what are your thoughts on this i mean i don't even know how to phrase this question because i i am losing out words especially with what's happening right now um it's a very very sad situation like uh this is also increasing and also child abuse and because the problem is you're stuck mm-hmm. inside the same house and yeah. you know so a lot of violence is increasing and obviously my thoughts are like i feel really helpless i really wish i can help each of them you know at that time you know i'm grateful that i am in a safe space it's not mm-hmm. you know um i think it's not about you know your rich or poor or something but mm-hmm. most important is to have safe people around you i think that's most important you don't know how many people probably are in rich households and are not in a safe space so that is like you know it's not about money or something here and also the thing is i don't know i mean i don't know how what to answer because the thing um i don't know why these things don't stop even rapes are increasing a lot of things are just increasing we thought probably people might this pandemic might teach us a lesson but it doesn't seem to teach everyone or maybe some of us are learning and reflecting but i don't know i mean what goes in in the minds of these people and i really wish i can know and understand you know it's it's mm-hmm. just increasing with all the negative news is it's doubled basically mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm lost for words too. So yeah, yeah. It's 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 pretty interesting. Uh, and also, one of the things um, this is this is as recent and early as this. Like this morning, I was going to reach out to one of my friends in my office because he's in another team, and I wanted him to help me out with something. So I tried to ping him a message on the chat, and then he his status was out of office due to health issues. and i got a bit worried because he was a good friend of mine he's still a good friend of mine so i pinged his manager to ask what happened and i was told that this guy is going through depression and i i i i, I, I was shocked i mean this obviously this is a person who was is is super uh, energetic and always smiling and stuff when i've seen him back in the office pre covid but all of a sudden i get to hear something like this now this is a shock again once again um you know uh may the the well being comes to the the mental health and all that um yeah again i i don't have words to phrase this question but how important is this and then what's your thoughts on this because people go uh, people are getting going through anxiety and depression and then it's 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 leading to lot more complexities than ever before um to be honest um i thought staying at home was mm. fun and stuff it's mm. still fun but my anxiety levels uh my stress levels have actually increased i wow. actually um every day i it was is even the smallest thing even getting an email from someone i was getting anxiety even even when someone says i have to talk to you i was getting anxiety wow so i i have no idea how it happened because i was obviously emotionally balanced i feel i was emotionally balanced mm-hmm. until then like i really don't know what went and triggered or affected mm-hmm. me but mm-hmm. and then i spoke to someone and then you know she said she advised saying maintain spoke to two three people i also saw robin sharma also had mentioned that uh, maintain a gratitude journal so the person said that it will definitely help because constant anxiety on you know will i lose this person will something happen to this person uh, i don't know that anxiety 
it was see that is a general anxiety that you don't want the people you know you mm. who are close to you but i don't know it was it it constantly increased and constant palpitation started and i i would just be sitting i would finish my work you know i the other day i'd finished a recording i came back home i was so happy and excited mm. and then i palpitation started for me like i have no idea why so um probably it's so natural that your friend was doing well and i don't know what would have affected him you know mm. uh and that that it's totally right whatever i little knowledge i have that it suddenly hits you like you're you're all fine and it suddenly hits you it's not even about like oh you have all this mm. you have all the material positions but why are you not happy you have no reason it just suddenly hits you like and for me yoga helped wow so i started yoga and uh, it kind of helped like i i still have it but i feel like it's under control and i just take it easy like you know so for a person like me as in you you mentioned in the beginning saying i'm very positive and stuff but it it hit me like mm. and i have no idea why like you know mm. what what it is and constantly overwhelmed and all those stuff kept happening and still happening but i'm i'm taking help like i'm talking it to someone mm. and you know it's not reached like a b- very bad state so it's absolutely normal and when i spoke like to people they said it's normal so that's when i felt like okay it's normal i thought something some problem is there or something you know and um yeah i mean um i think it's very important i think we have enough awareness now earlier it was not there mm. uh please take it seriously because it's not easy to be honest mind can play with you play a lot of games with you you know so please take it seriously because sometimes even i don't have time to take care of myself so i should not give ad- advice on self care at the moment because it's it's been overwhelming workload has actually increased during the pandemic i think mm. a lot of you will agree it's actually it's become double like i barely have time for myself these days and i hope to finish my work soon and you know take that time off like it's not even like maybe like few hours break and then it's super hectic so i think some time for yourself will definitely help like last few days like i've actually not stepped out for a while it's it, i don't know probably i'm i'm just bored mm. although my work is not monotonous work and it's creative work i'm actually bored mm. and i was just telling you know my teacher and she said you should take that day off that one day off for yourself which is not happening it's it's been hectic and i don't want to advise saying take that day off and i'm not following it but i hope to take that soon and i'm telling the same for others like and whatever you're going through your it i'm also in the same boat mm. not in a magnitude not magnified but same anxiety same mm. it's it's all there and i'm not ashamed talking about it because i hope it helps some of them here you know for sure and yoga is yoga is helping me like um uh, i'm not saying like 100 person because as in slowly like it's a slow process so mm. it's definitely helped me and i keep sharing whatever i feel with my yoga teacher and mm. she's been really helpful mm. um so whatever works for you for me i'm still finding out what works for me music practicing helps yoga helps so you have to find that thing or just sleep you know for me i just keep my phone on silent and i just sleep so um otherwise i to be honest even the phone ring yeah. increase my heart rate like when mm. somebody knocks my door so it, i became that sensitive you know so that's why I'm, whatever is triggering me i'm just communicating with the people saying don't do this or don't do that so if you're in a position to say that please tell or or sometimes i just stay away you know when i need my space i take the liberty and just stay away go do my things just take that space because i don't want to end up hurting someone saying i have this problem so i'm hurting i don't want to give that excuse also so i just stay away just you know just stay away from things that are triggering you just do what makes you happy i think this is the most important thing don't don't be forced to do something for someone's sake and mm. when you want to say no just say no like for me it's made my life a lot easier it for good for my mental health also always constantly i'm like oh god i told them yes and then i'm i'm struggling you know and they'll also not know that you don't want to do it they they'll think you want to do it so it's actually made my life a lot more easier and also helped my mental health Very so good. please uh, don't um, hesitate in asking for help you know when you uh, when you need it just ask 
just talk to someone who doesn't judge you and then things will just fall in place but friends can't give clinical advice i i'm not giving you any clinical advice here but i'm telling you what works for me that's all right. and i'm not ashamed in taking help i'm not ashamed in sharing this in this podcast because probably a lot of you might feel shy talking to people i hope this definitely helps you and you know makes I, the worst thing is to feel alone or you don't have someone to talk to so mm. i don't want any of you to feel that way so um you know so yeah i mean yeah but i mean look i, I was actually as you were describing it I, um i was able to reflect on some of the things that i am myself going through um since the last uh, few weeks i should say because i'm obviously juggling with a number of things and then one of the things you mentioned about email right i also have that anxiety sometimes not always and then for no reason there is nothing that i am concerned about or anything but in general even to even to check my inbox i'll be like oh do i really have to do it but i don't know why i was feeling like that to be honest because absolutely no rhyme or reason whatsoever and then also the other thing is um uh, uh the phone ringing or getting a call from office is another thing i i really can't explain there is absolutely nothing that i should be concerned about but is this general anxiety i felt anxiety is in the air and i was trying to i was trying f- or try, trying to find ways to deal with it that's the word that i was looking for so one of the things that i felt started to work better at least from my perspective was the fact that trying to hit the bed on time and or as early as possible so i try and hit by 8:45 9 there are days when it goes a bit over than that but otherwise i try and hit and then usually the things that causes a bit of anxiety for me i try to narrow it down so things that basically causes are the ones which are in the procrastinated list or the outstanding list for me so i started to tackle those early in the morning so when i wake up coffee etc that's the first thing i look at and i start start working on those so should i say that's more like my prime time and i'm utilizing my prime time to tackle those things that causes a bit of anxiety for me and i'm i'm losing out sleep on it so what i'm trying to say here is i am fi- i'm trying to discover ways to tackle around some of those issues which are bothering me and also the fact that i am not someone who will go and open up and share everything to that person or the support system i honestly do not have a support system but that is me uh this is probably the way i have been living here for so many years and then being self reliant and stuff but there are moments where i've i've hit rock bottom and then i had i had to find ways on my own again so the thing is i mean what i would like to know from yourself is um how how do you prioritize things to make the most of your day and at the same time create a balance between work and then time for yourself how do you actually go about doing something like that uh also you were right so for me i think because i was sleeping late my anxiety levels increased and mm. uh sleeping early helped and now again i've been sleeping late because it's been quite hectic you know with the song okay. coming up and uh some internship work and things like that so it's just been a little hectic um so yes you're right sleeping early helps so in this includes me also so uh i think probably in the next few days i'll <laughs> change my sleep times um so for me how do i finish things so i think i choose the things which for example i'll see which deadline comes first for me and i'll focus on those tasks some might be small small goals which 
i would want to do or something mm. i don't put all that in that day because i just focus on sorting this out like i feel relieved mm. so that's all and i'm def- i'm not getting time for myself to be honest so i'm not going to advise anybody about that um i'm still it's just been hey why you're sleeping in the morning and then you mm. know waking up after some time so um i i'm still learning because as i mentioned earlier the pandemic has actually kind of increased workload. the workload so um to be honest i also have not given myself that time hmm. you know i used to watch tv shows and stuff that also is not happening it's like you know it's been hectic so do you read i um no i have not been reading also i love reading but was reading for some time but just been a while since i reading mm-hmm. books so all that has to start it's just been hey why to be honest mm-hmm. as i'm talking to you now and probably once this releases i hope my schedule is sorted so uh, just divide your goals into small small chunks basically mm-hmm. you know uh, that helps like don't see it as a big goal but see it as steps towards reaching the small goal that's what yeah. helped um because if we see it as a final thing product or um whatever goal that is it's going to be um hard so i try my best and learning to do that sometimes yeah. even i get overwhelmed seeing that oh this is such a huge thing mm. should i even try will i even get it will i even achieve it and then it's like okay let me try doing something some day you know i'll achieve it so some day or whenever you know that kind of helps so also just focus on your deadline tasks if there's no deadline then you keep a self deadline that kind of helps for anxious people deadline helps <laughs> for me i have this anxiety or oh, i should finish it on time so i i actually try to channel my anxiety in a good way i use it to finish my work yeah. kind of helps me i don't know if this is like a good way or what not advising but just telling you what works for me so sometimes that anxiety like oh i should be on time so i use that anxiety to be on time you know to show up to start getting ready you, you actually on time you actually using that as a strength yeah i'm actually using my anxiety as my strength yeah uh, so it it helped it definitely helped me a lot so mm. sometimes yeah mistakes happen but this kind of helped me so mm. <laughs> mm. nice so and yeah the thing is i mean I, i i think i can relate to that as well because i i feel that when i have to deliver something by 9 am tomorrow or something like that i'm just making it up i feel that i'm lot more productive then and otherwise i i know it get pro, it does get procrastinated and then i get anxious and then yeah yeah it's just one of those things and also i mean one of the reasons why i asked you how you prioritize things and how you go about doing that is also because of the fact that you you wear a number of hats as well right you're managing the foundation sunshine orchestra music and plus women empowerment being the person there who is being a guiding light for a lot of people as i know and then uh, the people are getting inspired by the day with your posts and stuff and then that's why i wanted to know more about like how do you even do so many things within a day uh, <laughs> to be honest i really don't know like someone else also asked like she's like my friend she asked Like how do you do that? I said I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest, you know, I I don't know, Chandra. I mean, yeah. probably it's God's grace that is helping because I don't plan like so. For me, what I do is I plan my day before. I mean, most of us in the professional front or mm-hmm. students or all of us mm-hmm. do. So I just plan my day and um in advance. So what I have to do. posts i don't plan like that but mm. uh, i try to post minimum once a week so mm. i just like to keep the momentum going you know mm. um and i don't really plan my posts as in i i yeah. just know yeah. that okay weekly once i should 
talk to my uh, mm. people mm. and um yes sometimes sometimes what happens is some of the things i'll not be able to do it's not like i finish everything in the mm. day a lot of things are pending but mm. i think planning the day in advance helps mm. like you know you i have a white board in, right in front of me so i write whatever i have wow. to do during nice. the day nice so i just it feels good striking striking off the mm. stuff which i have finished for the day so that kind of helps and also having an internal deadline mm. telling yourself uh kind of helps i mean i think if, as you grow older you realize the sensitivity of things mm. to be done on time mm. and i guess that helps it it takes a lot of experience it it does not happen in a day it just doesn't happen because it's it's hard sometimes you want to do but you can't do it all that is very normal sometimes i would want to do so many things i i've not done it like i've just be you know i'll keep postponing it and so i don't know i mean just learning i'm just learning as well like all of you mm. um probably you guys might be doing it better i have no idea so i'm just learning taking it actually taking one day at a time so right yeah i mean <laughs> nice great and look i mean of course uh you 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 you're an ambassador for women empowerment i should definitely say that and then um uh to be honest with you i have some really close friends and i i and because they they have been sort of been very very appreciative about this podcast journey and then i said to them that katija is coming and one of the first thing they said was she is super inspirational she is someone that we would love to hear and this was coming from a friend of mine um called sangeeta from malaysia and she is a huge huge fan of yours to be honest and that's what she said and she said i, I can't wait to hear from her about everything that she wants to talk about women empowerment and stuff and then so um i'm i i would love to hear about what is it about women empowerment that you want to talk about and where do you want to see that going and because it it it's quite important that really has to be done and it i think we are in the process uh we are, we are in a far better place right now than we were before and we have started to appreciate and realize the need for doing that number one and at the same time um how should i put it like as a classic example um i do lead a team at work and uh interestingly enough they're all all my team members are male and then we do have a vacancy for one team member and then one of the things that we discussed internally was yes you know what it needs to be a female team member this time for sure because we need to not just about like at least attempting towards getting a balance so yeah i mean what are your thoughts on that um okay uh, ambassador I- is a huge word but uh, i'm just to be honest i'm i'm just trying to do something uh, you know i'm it's not like on a large scale but i'm just trying in my within my capacity i would say because uh, and also um, probably this interest and stuff came because there was this um, one lady so usually in the holy month of ramadan there's a lot of uh, people you know they come outside our house asking for help and from all um walks of life as in mm-hmm. you know um they're all struggling so they and some of them are women to be honest i'm also a woman mm-hmm. so it's natural that i tend to feel a little more mm-hmm. you know this thing so she came and you know she said she's from i forgot where she was from but mm-hmm. from quite far away and she said mm-hmm. uh she's um making samosas or something like that for me um uh, happy to help her and i think we helped her out okay. um mm-hmm. the thing is i don't want her to um depend or beg that's something i don't like women 
or anyone like for the fact i don't want anyone i don't i feel bad to be honest seeing somebody like that especially it's difficult more difficult for a woman uh, because there's no guarantee of safety and not everyone is going to let her or talk to her like that when she's standing outside people might think she's harmful and mm. you don't know i mean you know so the thing is after seeing that only i was like i have to do something but i still haven't achieved that but it's just there in my mind and i hope the universe hears it and mm. i'm trying i'm just trying you know uh the thing is um i think there should be no itemization of women i really don't like that and just seeing her for her clothes or body is something which i don't like it like see uh, you know we also have a soul we are human beings in the end of the day it's not like you know you see me like some see see the person like that and you know and obviously yeah this domination and things like that is something which and also you know body shaming and bullying and rapes all this is something i i aim i hope all this changes um because being thin also is a problem like everyone who sees me they're like why aren't you eating and because i'm genuinely eating but i'm not putting on weight so i really can't do anything about it so that also is a problem they think i'm weak but i actually eat healthy food because i have to sing as well so mm. i can't afford to be weak mm. but people don't understand that how much ever i say so that also is a problem that is also body shaming and um and i think women should be given the choice to make their own decisions in life you know uh that is empowerment because you can't have someone to keep deciding for you all your life mm. and um i think choices should be respected we might not agree but this is something which i want to change you know like it can be any choice you nobody has a right to enforce mm. so i also like to see us women on the forefront because it's not about competing with men but mm. we are underrepresented so we just want the same representation that's all it's not like you know we want to compete and you know i'm i'm not it's not that but it, let it be directors or mm. singer songwriters it's mm. less the ratio is less mm. Mm. so it would be great that if we are on the equal forefront as you know men that's all mm. so mm-hmm. i don't think it's too much to ask it's just basic rights and and yeah i mean um yeah it's it's sadly that just because it's a woman a lot of questions are asked and you know it's different i don't want to mm-hmm. repeat the same thing but um you know everything you mm-hmm. you've seen it all and you're seeing it all mm-hmm. be it any choice you know mm-hmm. right from remarriage after losing her husband or mm-hmm. after separation or right from there till the till a widow wanting to dress up if she wants is a huge problem and mm. i've heard it all from the people i know and they are judged they have to be sad just because the husband dies i mean beyond a point mm. they deserve to be happy but if they are not and they dress up well that society calls it something else and i know of someone also i've met that person and mm. she was narrating and i was like you know a lot of things has to change like i have a list of things i don't want to take your time but no no yeah so yeah i mean too many things there so i hope um you know we just become more sensitive that's all to yeah. all genders i mean see um men also go through things yeah. transgenders go through children also go through but the thing is um it's greater the men go uh, the women who go through the percentage is greater that's a thing mm. you know mm. nobody should be abused because of their choices this is something i went through mm. so that is why i'm even telling it like mm. um so we should become more inclusive i feel more inclusive and respecting sometimes um yeah i mean 
that's about it i understand no the thing is i mean what i really really appreciate about what you're doing is you didn't even have to do what you're doing right and then it takes a lot uh for you to be out there and to be uh working so hard to make this happen and that's where uh the admiration comes i mean because it, 9 out of 10 people probably wouldn't have wouldn't be doing what you're doing and because it's 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 not an easy pathway to take and there's so many hurdles and uh, but they always have the choice to either take this or the easier path and then you chose the other one where you want to go and um empower women there and then bring about a change that's that's something that uh you know it's it's it's, it's highly commendable and then i i really hope more and more people come forward like this to join you in this army to make this happen and where do you see yourself in what's what's the end goal that you're looking for katija what is that that you would like to see um as an end state I want to be um the voice of those who can't speak Perfect. and can't speak I wouldn't say but whose voices haven't been heard I want to represent everyone like that um and I want to my my songs or my singing to heal people mm. uh to be a solace you know not just it's not just like um I want it to do something with my art it shouldn't be like okay i'm just singing and people are hearing it i mm-hmm. wanted to heal people and give them a sense of tranquility um th- i this is what i feel and um mm. i i don't know i'm kind of blank at the moment but um i just want to and i don't know so i think this is this is what it is like i hope to be that voice you know yeah. uh supporting and helping a lot of people yeah. and touching a lot of lives um i'm just trying my tiny bit um i'm not saying that i'm doing like huge work but i'm just taking it you know one day at a time Amazing. trying my best so um i hope i can help and heal a lot of people through my work and and my life i hope my life is um uh, my life and my experience helps a lot of people and i hope a lot of people can reach out and i can you know directly mm. i i don't know i mean uh you can edit this <laughs> so um so yeah i mean that's about it yeah wow i just want to be I honestly want to be empowered enough that um people don't put down a woman because of the uh you know um any choice she makes her dressing or uh mm-hmm. any any kind of a thing mm-hmm. so um I hope that my success serves as something that you know it's like a benchmark that people don't mm-hmm. they changed their this thing that you know mm. so to be honest there's just like a lot of things but um i just i just want um uh, think my end goal is more of women's voices to mm. be heard outside mm. and um i hope i'm able to represent the unheard voices Beautiful. and also i want to um heal people through my music i know this is not related mm-hmm. to your question but i intend to heal people and um motivate them and bring people a sense of tranquility mm-hmm. when they hear my music mm-hmm. so i hope that happens someday i and um Yeah and I also want to break a lot of stereotypes. I don't want to mention but 
who was listening will understand so i see myself that way i don't have like a huge goal as such but i'm just letting my thoughts out to the universe every day and mm-hmm. i'll just take it as it goes that's all Very so nice. i hope more uh, i'm not saying i'll do this but i'm i just hope that more women are you know given are represented mm-hmm. equally mm-hmm. Uh, there is a lot we are underrepresented so i think that should change Mm-hmm. so that is my goal beautiful um i don't know i'm i'm just very overwhelmed and blank at the moment so yeah. i yeah for sure and then look one of the things that you mentioned was you'd like to use your music uh to heal people so um very keen to know about your upcoming track nice amazing so uh the thing is it's a very different song i've never sung something like this before mm. and um i obviously it's all my dad's wonderful work and um he brought the best out of me i would say mm. so i mean i think i should not say much maybe you guys should listen to it and then uh you should say what you feel you know i should not feed in thoughts before that so <laughs> <laughs> nice excited i'm excited and nervous yeah and yeah i mean fingers crossed uh very less expectations so i hope this is this heals your pain or mm. gently heals or you enjoy it and as always all of you keep supporting me in my work continue supporting and praying for me because without your support i wouldn't be here for sure right from the beginning from the events which happened all of you have been really supportive and i really appreciate it i'm sorry that it's not possible for me to reply to each comment or you know talk to each one of you but um, god bless you all so thanks for your support <laughs> amazing amazing and uh, how long ago did the process start for this song Wo- uh, where did it all begin it began just with the scratch tune like my dad said okay this is what i should sing mm. and um and then uh, i sang it and then he said okay uh, you should make this your own it should not be a very general song where you know the lyrics are written and you sing he's like i don't want it to be that way he's like what do you want uh what do you want mm. it should come in the song and i said uh you said like any prayer or what what mm. is it that you want and i said okay and at that time only a lot of things happened uh you know current news or a lot of things happened so uh i said okay i'll so he said okay then you just write your points and give it to the lyricist and he'll write it so to be honest the last two paras of the song the antra of the song mm. is something which i wanted and which i asked it's mm. my plea to god mm. so mm. that's that is that is the last two paras it's in hindi so the song uh, we are working on it and uh, hope the tamil one comes out soon as well um, mm. so yeah i mean uh, i'm excited i'm nervous <laughs> i'm just in a zen like quiet mode like taking whatever feedback comes positive or negative <laughs> yeah so yes it's been a ride and it's been a learning experience for me mm-hmm. and uh, my dad decided to keep it raw and he's like it's okay if you've made mistakes let it be raw mm-hmm. and uh, you know not like some automated song so he's just kept the process very raw the end product basically mm-hmm. try to get my actual voice out and you know keep it fresh and natural so yeah yeah amazing that's about it amazing i can't wait i can't wait for the 25th i'll be hitting the refresh button right on that day thank you so much chandra i mean you've always been supportive when uh, i really appreciate that i mean it's 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 a tool that you guys are giving me to heal better so what more can i ask for right so i'm excited as a child 
even mm-hmm. the smallest sound that's going to come out of the studio i know you've always been excited like <laughs> <laughs> like even your breakfast you send me i love arr you keep sending me every day <laughs> so excited you send me and sometimes i'm like okay nice so <laughs> okay what should i say why am i not as excited as chandan <laughs> <laughs> but i'm like okay chandan i'll hear you out <laughs> i think uh, i think daddy must be used he must be so used to seeing this <laughs> and he was me over it now and he was me thinking this crazy. one crazy guy i was looking at your background crazy crazy <laughs> <laughs> so these are they're all the so the thing is i have to tell you there's a, there's a little story behind this so this is uh this was at the start of the pandemic and then now uh, i was setting up my home office this is my office room and um, so the thing is i mean when i so there was nothing on the walls absolutely nothing it was just pure blank and this is the table on which the laptop is and then i started to work and then i, I was struggling to get motivated and i wasn't uh, as excited like I, i my energy levels are usually very high and then i know i know <laughs> <laughs> and but i'm i was struggling to be motivated and then i thought you know what i have to i have to change things in the room that will make me make me happier and wanting to come into the room or spend more time in the room so that i can be more productive what is it that will help me okay boom sir that's it so that so i picked up all the pictures that i have taken with sir with all my trips <laughs> that's the one in delhi and i still remember when i met him at the lobby he saw me and you came all the way from melbourne i said ama sir crazy man <laughs> So, crazy you are so with yeah, this, like you get so excited <laughs> yeah look it's good so to be excited right you know yes so sometimes when i see like your posts and stuff like i'll not have energy and i'll be like wow this guy has no in a good way sometimes i can't sometimes i'm just quiet and you know no energy i'll just be sitting and then i'll see of course daily one excited good morning daddy's name on the plate i'm like okay <laughs> so well, so it's nice i mean um this is how you are and this is what makes you happy so you know uh each person has their own stuff which makes them happy so i think the whole world knows <laughs> what makes you happy <laughs> <laughs> no the thing is i mean so this is what happened so there was nothing in the room i said okay sir this is it this will give me that energy so i i printed out all the pictures that i've taken with sir with all my trips and then i started setting it up Crazy. then it over pakko i after i set it up i took a picture and i sent it to daddy and <laughs> i said sir ar room <laughs> and he said okay adalla okay ponnu paatha chaili <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah. And and then and you better, then I, Chandra if you want to get married in future you better find someone as crazy as you otherwise she might find you crazy. That's that's what I said to uh, sir and in fact uh, uh I think uh, the other thing that happened was with my food creations and Oh god. Was, was a dosa thing I think that's what I shared it to sir and he said he <laughs> he put a smiley and it's a good bridegroom material <laughs> <laughs> and when he came on the podcast when he came on the podcast uh, i told him sir uh, because i knew he was going to ask me ponnu pata chai i said sir unnu yaro ponnu kudukala sir chandan no so the thing is uh, she'll end up getting annoyed okay if you're going to say i love her and not i love her she'll get end up getting really annoyed you better <laughs> change your priorities after ma- if you want to get mother <laughs> no no it will not change uh, it won't get a girl like this <laughs> i have to, i have to find someone as crazy as me you said that right so i am on that journey now <laughs> So we we'll not I, get if, if she sees everything I love her or she's like where he love me that's it <laughs> <laughs> I I I said this to sir that 
sir when when i get married it will yeah. happen in chennai just so that i can yeah. seek your blessings 100% it's going to happen in chennai yeah, find someone from chennai only <laughs> crazy <laughs> someone so, as crazy as you so yeah anyway so the thing is i mean look i i try to i try to find things that makes me happy yeah i yeah, understood gets me excited <laughs> and keeps me going because number one is uh, one is not just about this pandemic i i i have been living alone here in this country for quite some time now so i uh, probably it's my trait to find things that makes me happy one is fitness keeps me happy and i have my pet i have named him happy just to remind myself every now and then to say that okay you have to be happy choose happiness over anything else and then trying to find ways that keeps me happy and keeps me energized and that is serve for me so needless to explain that um <laughs> i can't wait to meet her and complain about you to me <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i i still remember uh, when rehana ma'am came on the podcast as well uh, she, she asked me uh, so yeah idella okay but ponnu patacha illiya because i think uh, sir also wants you to get married you remember no <laughs> <laughs> then only you'll stop obsessing over my dad <laughs> oh god so <laughs> anyway look it's it's i uh, i uh, uh, the thing is i mean it's unconditional love kadija i don't know how to describe no, no, it no 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 i mean jokes apart uh, you know just ragging you but yeah i mean that's that's what you feel so you know i it's fine i mean <laughs> as long as we don't hurt anyone it's fine that's all you know <laughs> and you know the the jumpers that i wear or the t-shirts that i wear outside it's all i love air art <laughs> i know i know i mean tell me about it chandar <laughs> you you i remember you sent me a picture of your um iphone or airpods something you sent oh uh, yeah uh, ipad like, pro oh my uh, something you sent and i was like oh my god i said like, to you i replied and then i'm like oh my god and then i just kept quiet <laughs> i don't know i mean fun have fun <laughs> so yeah um thing is i mean look yeah anyway so um so katija i mean of course we have touched on so many topics um i personally feel very very inspired with this with these conversations i should say and then there are so many things that i i'm sure i will be uh doing it myself and most importantly i'm sure that i would love this to be passed on to a lot of other people who are not only following you but really are seeking help in terms of um not just about having to deal with things in the pandemic but even in general pre covid post covid these issues are going to be there and uh, it's it's really amazing that you are on a journey to make the impossible possible and my my best wishes for that and i'll i'll be super supportive of with whatever i can do in this regard and so please count me in and at the same time um look uh, i would i would like to ask you if there was any message that you would like to give um as part of this podcast which might which might help a lot of people um <clears throat> thank you so much for this opportunity <coughs> sorry thank you so much for this opportunity and um thank you for hearing me out and letting me tell my story um and also my message would be uh try to help someone even if it's the smallest thing try to pass on the goodness you received to be honest a lot of people have helped me and supported me and that's what i'm trying to do so i'm trying to pass on the goodness which i received so don't forget to pass on the goodness which you receive even in the smallest way you know help needn't be uh, monetary or anything it can just be uh, just being a shoulder to mm. someone or it it's it just smiling at someone you know it doesn't have to be a huge deal 
but um always keep encouraging uh, your friends who are starting something new mm-hmm. uh, you know because i mean if if not us who else will support them mm-hmm. i have come a long way only because of a lot of people who have supported me so mm-hmm. and i try my best to pass on the goodness that i try to support a lot of people within my capacity of course so don't put anyone down and if you don't agree with someone uh take a back step and keep quiet you know sometimes your opinions are not needed about your life or the mm-hmm. choices always and don't give up most importantly or put yourself down because sometimes uh what happens is we think that putting ourselves down is a sign of humility but uh i made that mistake as well and it gave an opportunity for others also to have a low opinion on me mm-hmm. so it's important that you're very clear about your identity and be firm uh there's nothing wrong about it so just telling you some of the mistakes i did so that you don't do it because and um always try to be you know flexible um we mm. should i mean uh, as time goes by not have narrow ideologies mm. be very flexible and open mm. i think be inclusive of others i think that's very important sometimes some somebody might not be the same as you so doesn't mean you have to hurt them or mm. you know so um i think most importantly just try to keep the people around you happy uh, i think i hope this is not I, i don't think this is too difficult to follow so keep people around you happy and if you can't do something good don't do something bad just just stay away you know sometimes uh yeah i mean keep spreading positivity and joy and this is what i have to say and um don't underestimate yourself is what i would say uh very important a lot of people might tell the tell uh their opinion about you but that doesn't make you what they say you can always show them what you can do you know you don't have to say it you, your actions will speak and all this i'm trying to do and that's why i'm telling you i'm practicing whatever i'm preaching at the moment so i hope this helps all of you and um yes i mean if there's anything you want to talk or something um uh, you can convey the message to chandar so uh or you can dm me or something like that so thank you so much for your support once again and um spreading positive vibes and a lot of love to those who are listening to this whenever this releases so um yes i mean that's about it and <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much uh look uh, I, i i feel very inspired and then most importantly i'm energized because it's it's the energy that you are radiating and obviously i catch it i that's that this is exactly what happens every time i i speak to sir as well and this is the same kind of energy that i get and then i feel very 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 inspired i feel very energized and there is this this very positive aura which i could have i could never describe this is exactly what i'm feeling right now and most importantly this journey that i am on right now with this podcast i feel extremely blessed and it seems like a dream journey for me for the fact that i have been able to uh talk to the likes of yourselves and sir himself um and then in a, like i'm i'm trying to uh how should i put it pay a small tribute to someone who has changed my life and uh, so i i feel very blessed to be on this journey and then i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming forward and supporting me on this journey uh and uh, and then talking about things that is that is going to inspire and most importantly help a lot of other people who are going to watch it really really soon thank you so much katija and uh, i'm i'm super thrilled that you came on the podcast I would love to do this all over again very soon. <laughs> uh definitely I mean uh thank you so much <clears throat> uh 
um you know if it is something which helps someone i'm happy to come and talk about it um we can have others also come <laughs> like you know it will be fun i mean um someone who can call and then ask us questions that will also be fun i mean sure sure definitely organize something <laughs> so um i'm happy happy to do that <clears throat> awesome thank, thank you so much thank you uh, thank you once again chandar you and uh, for your support and love always thank you so much thank you thank you so much